everyone. Uh, I'm Shilpi Neha Tirki and I come from Jharkhand and I belong to the constituency of Mandal. I think it's a great concept and something that should have thought, been thought a long time ago but that couldn't have happened and today it is happening for all of us across India. I think it's a great opportunity for us to meet new people, meet new legislatures, meet new council members, understand their perspective in what is towards politics, their perspective of how they are handling problems in their state and also bring the goods back to our state. So I think it's a great networking platform. Apart from it, it is also a great learning and training platform for all the legislatures because usually we have, uh, we are so busy with our work, we're so busy uh, solving issues of people, whereas we forget new and better ways to counter problems. And hence, this kind of training is an eye opener, is a mind opener for all of us. So I am for the idea that these kind of conferences should be organized at least once annually. I think the whole uh, idea that uh, politics has been very traditional, though the landscape is changing now, uh, people are not very welcoming for new members, young members to be seen as the face of as a face of leadership. People are still reluctant, though the whole idea of having younger people in politics sounds very exciting and innovative, but the whole uh, social acceptance of young people leading in the society is still not very open, especially in the rural areas, in the villages where the most of the India resides. So, but having given the chance, when they also see the potential, the, the caliber and the capacity to serve the society, they are also coming, becoming more open towards this idea. So I think the most biggest challenge was that uh, being a young and uh, uh, being a young face in this whole traditional politics. I think when I first contested the election, I was not very sure that I'm going to win, but definitely Karam is everything. So I just kept serving the people, just getting kept uh, doing my job of getting them more uh, aware about the whole uh, change of politics landscape, telling them about the welfare schemes, etc. And uh, I think they believed in me, they believed in uh, women leading them, they believed in a young face leading them. So that was a big uh, uh, opportunity for me and big belief that my people vested upon me. I think the whole uh, social acceptance, the acceptance that everyone, be it whoever it is, from whichever, demo, uh, from whichever background he or she belongs to, that acceptance of ideas, of people, of, uh, uh, of community, that's a very beautiful thing about our democracy, which I feel sometimes is also a threat because ours is a developing nation. But I think it, from today's session also, what we all have something to take home is that however tempting it might be to leave the idea of democracy, we need to stay strong in the tough times and hold on to this idea that the best system for India will always be a democratic country. It is true, politics is very stressing and especially when you are in politics, you have to always be available for your people, be it day or be it night. There are no festivals, no nine to five. So I think the youth also coming into this field, I will, I will definitely uh, let them know that uh, coming with an idea that this is going to be like a nine to five job will be a wrong notion. So when you come into it, especially in the initial stage of your political career, you have to be uh, dedicated 24-7 into it. You have to be available 365 days into it. Later on, when you get into the whole system, probably you can build a structure and routine for yourself. But in the initial days, there are no holidays. There is no time for yourself, which is something that you have to compromise with. I think my strength in politics is that I'm an educated person and uh, that's a very uh, big strength for me. 
and I, I wish and I hope more and more such educated uh, youngsters come into politics. One advice is that the whole notion that has been built across the country that, you know, if the whole politicians, they are corrupt, they are just for themselves, they are selfish. I think we need to uh, strike down this notion and go back to what our forefathers fought this country for, go back to those ideas, those beliefs and live up to them and uh, definitely give up on this whole uh, materialistic life which we are so much uh, envisaged with now. So definitely I will suggest my youngsters that it's, it, it is a leadership role, uh, role in which the whole entire state, the country will look up to you. So you have to first develop your character, develop your personality, develop yourself some, and then help the others walk the same path. Thank you.